Hi, my name is John Knabel. I'm a first year pharmacy student at, here at UMD. Um, I currently run track or in both the 110 and 400 meter hurdles. All right, so fill us in on how you got started in track and hurdles and what really got you going with this. Okay, I uh, actually started running cross country my freshman year of high school. Um, through that, I ended up running track my sophomore year of high school because, well, to be honest, my friends talked me into it. <laughs> and then my junior year, uh, my younger brother is very competitive and he was our hurdler and I was our 400 800 runner and he was, you know, being the typical cocky little brother and I decided I wanted to try hurdles to see if I could beat him and I did and I've been doing hurdles ever since. So, <laughs> so some friendly brother competition it, exactly, and yeah. look at you now. And he still runs too. He actually jumps for uh, a school out in North Dakota. So, oh, yeah. neat. So you are now a in grad school, pharmacy yep, school pharmacy you said? School. Yep. Can you just kind of tell us, um, you still have one season left of outdoor eligibility. Can you just give us a little background on how you got here? Okay, well essentially I got injured a lot in undergrad. So those injuries um, made it so I still had eligibility when I was ultimately graduated and now in, in graduate school. So I have yeah. one outdoor season to compete and hopefully I can do well. Are you excited? I'm very excited. I haven't had an outdoor race in three years, I think. Wow. So, yeah. How does that, what's the difference between outdoor and indoor race? Does it? Well, for myself, uh, indoor is usually the 60 meter hurdle. So I would only be training for those hurdles and outdoor the 400 hurdles is, is a very endurance based race as far as hurdles go so it's, it's a lot tougher and you know uh, the 110 hurdles has 10 hurdles rather than five which doesn't sound like a lot until you look at them all down the track. <laughs> yeah does it make a difference to not be competing in the indoor season? Uh, for me it was actually a little more convenient being uh, that I'm starting up again after having a couple years off but uh, it gives me it gives me a little more time to train. It's it's harder though because I'll do all this training and I won't have a meet or a time to show for it. So it's it's kind of hard to keep going at times. But yeah. that's what my teammates are for. What kind of skill do you really have to be good at to excel in hurdling? I'm I'm actually going to say fearlessness because you can't be scared of the hurdles. If you're scared of them, you're going to slow down. So you just need to take all those other things you have in track and apply it to that too. Yeah. Have you ever had a bad spill that you remember specifically? Uh, I've had two pretty bad ones. Uh, one was my freshman year of college, I, I was in the 110s and I almost slid all the way to the next hurdle. So um, I had bandages all over my body from, from track burn. And then I had one in the 400 hurdles where I actually separated my shoulder. So that was an interesting uh, event. That sounds super painful. <laughs> yeah. <Heat> over it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Clearly, you're still here. <laughs> exactly. Where did you build and race cars? Uh, I do. How so, did you get started in that? Uh, my dad's race for as long as I can remember. I was at BIR when I was six months old. Uh, my brother was when he was six weeks old. I grew up at that racetrack. And when I was 16, we, we had a car and he threw me in it and I just started racing. So you like to go fast. I do like to go fast. <laughs> <laughs> that can kind of relate to drag racing a little bit. Does that, do you use that at all in your inspiration? I actually do. Um, I use the competitive edge for sure. And then uh, occasionally when I'm running, I'll, I'll tend to slow down a little bit, especially in you know the 400 hurdles. So I'll just think to myself, it's like a drag race. It's not like a road race. You need to be going faster the whole way. So it just, it kind of keeps me going. It all ties together. Exactly. So I heard you were a conference champion in 2011? Yeah, I was conference champion in the 400 meter hurdles. Cool. Um, what did it? How does that inspire you now? Uh, I actually, one of the things I was scared about coming back after being off for a while was still being able to run my times. And I actually ran in a meet unattached a little over a week ago, and I ran a time that was just as fast as I did in 2011. So I think I'm on the right track, but it's definitely uh, an out to prove myself type of, of year because um, I was short of the record when I was in my last year here, and I would really like to get it. Well, it looks like you're on the right track, and good luck with the rest of your season. All right, thank you.